And going forward, I think what I want to do um, is rather than focus on a genre, focus just on what I've been playing this month mm -hmm. um, to try and keep things a bit more in the present and also get a better idea of what you guys are playing because presumably you're watching these videos because you're also on services like PS Now and Game Pass. So if I'm telling you about what I'm playing this month, then there can be a bit of a conversation there about what you're playing and I can pick up new games based on your that was the plan and vice versa. that was so the plan the plan that's failed my vision for next year. what a range of haircuts um, across a year by the way some... welcome back you guys um it's good to be back good to see you here again after seven months since that video and i haven't made a video in in seven months so excuse the likely um mess that is about to follow i will say off the bat um this isn't the last video, well hopefully not the last video ever, on this channel, despite the title. It is the death of this channel in a way, um, and the purpose of this video is is like any good funeral, not that funerals are good, <laughs> that was a poor choice of words. Well I want to talk about the life of this channel, um, as well as, as the reason I'm, I'm stopping making videos on this channel for now, but I will continue to be making videos on a new channel, all of which I will reveal um, over the next few minutes. But yeah, where to start? I've moved, um, I've got a job in video games, as I, as I planned to do and hoped to do, um, which is really good. Um, and I've just been basically trying to get settled before I, I got back into the groove of making videos. So now I'm in a position where YouTube is, is solely a extracurricular thing, you know, something I do in my, as a pastime. Um, which is how I want it to be because, uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to go into the details because I mentioned it all in the previous video, but I got to a point um, to the, you know, basically this time last year and a, and a bit of this year where I was making videos to try and work the algorithm rather than making videos that I am passionate about, which is fine. I mean, you know, there are several channels that work as kind of, I guess, like a media outlet, which I think is what this channel ended up, or what my vision for this channel ended up becoming, where I wanted it to be your go-to source of information on video game subscriptions, which I think is a great idea for a channel, to be honest. Um, or it's decent, at least. Um, but it's not... I just don't think my heart is in it enough to actually fully commit to it, especially now when I'm doing this in, in my spare hours in the evening. So, I'm making a new channel, um, based more around video game narratives, as that is something I, I, I really find myself being drawn to whenever I play games, is the actual story. And you kind of notice that if you went back and watched some of my videos. And those long list videos where I'm reviewing t 10 or 20 games um, in one video, my, my main focus is, you know, what's the story like in this game? And, and, and why, based on that, is kind of why I feel like it's good or not. So I just thought, you know, why not go all in and do these long, overly in-depth videos on video game narratives. So that's what the new channel is going to be, which leaves the question, what's going to happen to this channel? Because, as I said, I think it's a decent concept, and I have gained a following. Like, you guys watch all my videos, and I'm extremely grateful for that. So I don't want to just leave it dead in the water. One of the most recent videos on here was the top 20 PS Now games. I know people want a downloadable version of that list as well so so videos like that which are quite uh, far reaching and kind of treat the the video game subscription as a whole um, and kind of give that high level overview i think that's the best kind of videos to keep putting onto this channel but just nowhere near the uh the frequency that i wished it to be i guess it's good to talk about the progress of this channel just in terms if nothing else in terms of if there are any other people that think about you know, starting a YouTube channel. I just smacked my pop filter. Excuse me. I told you this video was going to be a mess. If there are people out there that are thinking about making videos and uh, starting a YouTube channel, I guess uh, a, a quick overview of how I've treated the whole process might be useful because I know when I started, I looked at countless videos on, you know, do X, Y, and Z to boost your views and stuff, um, which were extremely helpful. But again, I approached it from the viewpoint of how do I turn this channel into money, essentially, which sounds a bit mercenary, I guess. Um, but to be honest, I think that's what the majority of people start YouTube for at this point, when monetization plays such a big factor, even though it doesn't play a big factor um, compared to 
you know, the early 2010s of YouTube. I'm not saying that's the wrong way to approach it. It's just that for me, over the course of the channel's life, I have gone through that kind of arc where as soon as I, I was making videos for fun, they suddenly started getting a bit of traction. And then my mindset switched to, oh, well, how can I maximize this peak in views? Um, this uptick in views, how can I maximize that to try and earn some money off it? Which is totally fine, and I think if you are a content creator, um, or what, or hopeful content creator, or, or, or infantile <laughs> content creator, it's a strange uh, description, my advice to you would be, if when that uptick does happen, which if you're creating good videos, it will, you just gotta stick at it. But when it does, really identify which video or videos um, are performing well and just stick with that and, and drill down into your niche, which is what everyone, all the videos told me. But when it actually happened to me, I was like, oh, I have an audience now, so it's time to branch out, try something different, which in itself isn't a bad strategy, but I did it far too early. Like, I think that is um, a, a, a avenue to explore when you're, you have a, a real, a, a real subscriber base. Um, not that I don't have one of those, but you know, I'm talking sort of 10,000 subscribers onwards and you've really built up a consistency where you know a certain subset of people are going to click on your videos, kind of irregardless of, of the content. Not to boil this down into numbers because you're a real person watching this video and that's the main thing for me. I, I appreciate that and it doesn't matter how many of those I have, to be honest. But if we, if we are to talk numbers, say if I have 2,000 subscribers, and you could say maybe five to 10% of those are gonna click on your videos because they appreciate the content you're doing and, and you would call them a, a loyal subscriber, I guess. If that 10%, that's what, like 200? So you're getting 200 views. Whereas if you're 200,000, I'm not gonna do the maths because I forgot the numbers I was saying anyway. <laughs> Bad example. When the algorithm starts to favor you, it's usually down to search. Um, so people are, are not subscribed to your channel, but they're finding your videos via search. Um, and obviously, if you then veer off extremely in another direction, you're not gonna go into the search results. When I realized that, um, I started making videos more specifically to do with PlayStation Now because they were the ones that were performing well um, and, and branching off into news segments of that. So it's a, it's a, a slightly less, a, a less severe tangent if I, think back to when I really started the channel that wasn't that wasn't my intention the reason I started this channel was actually um, to use it as as a portfolio essentially like as a bonus to uh, my writing portfolio because I wanted to get into writing in games media and for this new channel it's actually quite similar basically I now realize I want to ultimately get into games writing not media but actually writing for games um, and this is kind of good practice for that so I'm analyzing game narratives um, and trying to break down not just the story that is being told in the game, but the decision making um, in terms of the writing and the mechanics that the developers uh, and, and development team choose to express those narratives. But it's kind of exciting to, to, to start again with what I've learned from this channel in the back of my mind, i.e. You know, I've got a very, a much clearer vision this time round of what I want to do. And I'm basically just gonna do videos on that. And hopefully if videos do start um, proving successful and, and, and getting good views, then that, that an audience will generate over time that you know the kind of videos that I'm gonna make because I'm just gonna do that, rinse and repeat for different kinds of games. And that's also the reason I didn't wanna just switch this channel to that because that's not what you guys are here for. You guys are for video game subscriptions. And I didn't wanna just, you know, in, intrude on your YouTube feed with random videos that you might not care about. If you do find any of that stuff interesting, then please go follow uh, my new channel. That would be awesome. Uh, the, the first video is up on there now. Um, I'll put a link in the description and maybe above my head. But I'm happy with how the first video came out. So, you know, I, I do think it kind of reinvigorated me in a way because I think uh, I, I'm I'm more suited to a type of video where it's like you know what you're getting you're getting 30 minutes of quite in-depth dry um, information which is far more suited to my uh, 
my personality than trying to make jokes. Um, anyway, please go take a look. <laughs> that is not how to sell a video, but it is good. <laughs> please don't unsubscribe to this channel. <laughs> It's basically what I'm saying. No, there should be an, a new videos in, in January on this channel. I actually saw a really good comment on uh, when I was looking through previous videos about doing a tier list, which I think is a really cool idea for, uh, you know, PS Now. So that may well be the next video on this channel. Um, but also, you know, if you if you want any, any suggestions, um, let me know in the comments. Just be, bear in mind, it might, you might not get it till this time next year. <laughs> but I guess the, only, the the last thing to say is just is thank you genuinely. Um, I don't. I, I am very conscious of this seeming like, you know, oh this channel's failed. Fuck it, let's move on. I really don't want it to come across that way because uh, I say it on all uh, on every video and ev every YouTuber says it on every video. But I do genuinely just am so appreciative of the support on this channel that I've had over the past couple years because. Um, just it's just super positive, and it and it, it's really good to makes me feel good. Um, so thank you for that, and uh, hopefully that will continue. Um, hopefully the same happens for my next channel. But I'm I'm not like I said, I, the pressure is off now, which feels quite nice. Like I don't I don't feel a an urge to get certain videos out and get get them out um, by a certain date. Um, I'm just gonna make videos because I enjoy doing it and publish them when they're ready um, and move on to the next one which I think is the best way to do it and, and I guess that's my final you know ultimate piece of advice if you are thinking of making YouTube videos um, just do it do it for fun um, that's not to say that your um, vision for for a channel can't change as as you realize what your audience is here for but I think uh, it, it sounds super obvious, but it's also the most valuable piece of advice is just like if you're gonna make YouTube videos Just do it for fun. Don't don't make it a job. It's how I personally feel about it uh, But it also depends on what you're doing it for and what, what kind of content you're making so maybe it's terrible advice You do you that's my <laughs> Words of wisdom, but I think that'll do it. I don't need I don't really need to say anymore This is like the, all the content on this channel has been fucking ca channel updates this year <laughs> so we won't have any more channel update videos, which is good, because I just spew out random shit, as you can as you can tell. It's actually probably not so bad because I tweak it in the edit, but you wouldn't you wouldn't believe the amount of stuttering I do. But it's, I think it's because for some reason I'm like I'm gonna make a really strong coffee before I before I sit down and make the video. I think it's cold. Yeah, it's super cold and super strong. But yes, thank you so much for being along for this channel's journey um it's not over it's not dead it's just sleeping for a while um but yeah please check out my new channel uh, link is in the description and i hope your year has been great mine's been a uh, very up and down um but i feel like i'm in a good place right now so um i feel like i'm on track which is uh has been rather difficult to to find those tracks um but I think I'm there, so I'm doing good, I hope you're doing great take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one bye